Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out on the Sherman and I have decided to get side pads. At last I'm probably the only guy in the world that doesn't use side pads but uh, I've eventually decided on a brand and I bought them and I've installed them. I've did a little uh, short little ride just to position them so they're not they they probably need a, um, a fair bit of uh, uh, tuning and setting and whatever as I get used to them and feel how they should ride or, or, or what feels the best but I eventually did it and uh, in this video I just want to give you um, uh, the reasons why I went for them and also um, where you can get them and also how do they feel so uh, so let me show you around it so this is the Grizzler pads um, and I um, saw them first on um, Adam's wrong ways channel and I just really like the look of them because they are not too bulky um, and they are also um, uh, adjustable they're not connected together so I can adjust them higher lower in the rear and also up and down forward and backwards um, on the front and um, what I also found is when I um, had the Monster uh, Pro, the clock pads were a little bit uh, too um, too hard. So where these ones are are nice and soft. But I got these guys from um, Personal Electric Transport in London. They had a batch that uh, that came in. I made my decision and I just went with them. Um, they do some really funky colors as well. So um, if you guys are interested in that and I will put the link in the description below where you can uh, where you can get them from personal electric transport and it's called the Grizzler pads Grizzler really cool but yeah they uh, they've been really really awesome so uh, I'm gonna get on the wheel get some riding done and I'll give you some further feedback so just to give you an idea of how I set them up um, my foot is a size 10 UK 10 so I think it's a 40 a 44 and uh, that's how they look like from the rear also from the front so I've got a little bit of when I tilt back for the braking and then forward for the leaning but there's enough space for my legs to move forward and backwards and the other thing as well, it's quite nice, let me just get a, a better angle, is um, it comes with these really wide Velcro strips that is very easy to actually fit. You just uh, cut it to the top of the wheel, especially on the Sherman, it's really easy to actually fit. Stick them down and then the pads just uh, stick on with Velcro. Really nice. Really nice and easy. Yeah, let's get going. Okay, guys, just to just to give you some feedback, you know, it's it it's uh, it was it, it was very interesting. You know, it's, I took such a long time to decide what I want to get um, because the um, the earlier ones didn't really, I, I, I don't know, it just didn't I just didn't like it, and it was quite a lot of money as well. So so when I um, when I drop the money, I want something that is really nice um, and it's probably going to last and, and it can chop and change between uh, wheels. 
because I think I think the Velcro option is 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 by far the best. Um, and these Velcro and the Velcro is really strong, so it holds the, the pads in place without any problems. Um, so um, I also um, from what I've seen from the other videos and the other riders, whatever is um, is some pads are are 3D printed uh, with much harder material. Some is too soft. Some is is solid some is too bulky and some is not and um, i think with these ones they for me personally it is it is just that in between in between size um, i can probably drop them down and and use them for jumping um, and and then i can open them up if i just want to cruise and use them for braking and accelerating um, i never really lean super hard into wheels so for me this little bit of extra power that I can get out of the wheel to get going it's awesome and I must say I did a bit of trail section now um, probably about five ten minutes of trail section um, and it's uh, it's hard packed gravel and um, it's really nice to be able to have that that feeling that um, even if you bounce up about that much that your your foot is not going to fall off the pedals and I don't have um, spike pedals that's that's sort of the next thing that i need to look at investing in um but again you know i would i would like to get a pair of pedals that i can use on on all my wheels not all my wheels but so i can chop it between the say the s18 uh the sherman and if i upgrade the sherman i can take it to say the say uh, the, the in motion v12 or something in that line now it needs to be able to to chop and change i don't think it can do it uh, like that yet but there is a, some of the pad, the pedals that i've seen um does work on different wheels so um so i want to have a look at at that but currently um i just want to really get out as much as possible on with these pads and uh, and uh, get used to them but yeah the, um they are for me is that is that is that sweet spot of, uh, um between bulkiness softness um, and uh, an option to um, have two parts of them where you can then uh, 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 chop and change them. You know, you can you can position them how you would like them. So that's what I like. And you know, it comes with a massive range of 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 colors. So um, I got these things uh, from Personal Electric Transport, and I will uh, put a a uh, um, the logo and the website up here and down in the comments. I'll put the link to the Grizz, the Grizzler pads, um, and yeah, I mean the guys at Personal Electric Transport were super helpful. Um, it was on pre-order, but the pre-order was supposed to land on on sort of the Wednesday, and the guys were just the communication was awesome, and um, they got the pads out to me, and during the whole thing they were um, they were giving me feedback on how, uh, um, when they're going to get it and. Uh, uh, where they're going to ship it out and even the shipping was really quick so i'm super impressed with their service so if you do if you are looking for grizzler pads or side pads they do have quite a, a a large range of different of different protective gear and accessories they also do wheels and scooters and e-bikes so go and check check out the website and uh, again i'll link that website below great service like it so yeah guys um this is uh this is now uh, this is now the new, uh, new 2022 side pad extravaganza. <laughs> you guys must think like, what is this guy about? I've been riding with side pads for like uh, years, months, and whatever. But yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on riding, and um, I'm gonna uh, 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 just take you along for this for this little ride, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I start to sail on these ocean waves. Nobody knows, nobody knows how to find us It's turning out to be a perfect day I just want to leave our normal lives behind us So let's get lost out here No one else out here Find ourselves out here oh. We could disappear into this atmosphere Where this water's clear Rather to stay, make a new life with you. This 
must be fate, must be a sign. So lost here, lost forever. I love being stuck here with. This is really, really awesome. I do like the braking feature where you can really, uh, let's get my uh, little mirror out, where you can really lean back on the wheel. That's, uh, that's really sweet. And then also where you can really adjust uh, the pedals or the, or the pads at the back to, uh, to be much higher so you can, uh, Get it on the top of your calf again and this is if you like it oh we've got sun guys <laughs> it's amazing you probably haven't seen uh, seen my channel in the sun it's amazing woohoo again braking really hard you know i've i've been, never been able to brake break that hard on the Sherman so for me that's already a uh, if that's the only thing that's good but yeah the forward leaning I don't uh, I don't really use that much because uh, I sort of tap it get the wheel up to speed and then I go cruising at about 25 miles an hour it's zero degrees outside so the sun might look light, nice and uh, nice and fluffy, but it's not. It's tricky. An absolutely awesome morning, and I hope you guys are also getting a chance to get out on your wheel. It's been a, it's been a quite a few crappy days here in the UK, and um, it's so nice to be able to be out. I'm sitting at about 60% battery, so we'll see, see how far I can get. See again there, using the rear, the rear pads. And uh, my trousers, this bike, motorbike trousers, they have uh, like a knee and a shin pad on. So, uh, and the softness of these uh, side pads is just, uh, perfect for me not too hard not too soft don't get me wrong i do like the clock pads the only problem is uh i couldn't get hold of them i sort of uh kept on monitoring their website to uh to buy them man they were just out the same with this lenovo lenovo pad pedals i think it's that they call it that this stuff is permanently sold out and yes it's, pro it's a very good product but hey when i want to i do impulse buying if i do have the money i'll go and buy it but if it's not in the store i struggle to do pre-orders and stuff like that <laughs> my own problem really let's do some canal action and everything is really iced up but look at that we've got sun What I do like is just this uh, this feeling of uh, of being connected to the wheel, and I thought I'm not going to like that, but man, it's really nice. It's also nice that the trail is like not muddy. Oh, how I've missed this! Absolutely awesome. And it's just nice, you can just trim it with your shin, pushing into the pad to pick up speed. Okay guys, um, I'm going to keep on uh, riding the trail, just get used to the side pads. 
But man, what a glorious morning. Just look behind me next to this canal. Absolutely beautiful. Um, it's like, an, this is the perfect time to be, be, to be out on your wheel, man. It's just, it's just like a, this hard packed, dry uh, mud because it's frozen, but it's just absolutely awesome. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, and again, you know, if there's anything, questions and stuff about the Sherman or the wheel or where I got the stuff from, please ask in the comments and uh, I will get back to you. But again, thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed and you're still here and you're still watching, thank you very much. And please drop a subscribe and share this out and like the video so I can grow my channel. And uh, again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.